I have made the proposal that sail modules could be fitted to larger ships to provide wind assistance and thereby reduce fuel use. However, when multiple sails are positioned close together like this, there is likely to be an interaction between them, since the air flowing over one sail will be deflected somewhat before it reaches a nearby sail. To gain a better understanding of this possible interaction, I fitted three small transition rigs to mirror dinghy. Each sail has an area of about two square meters, giving a total of six square meters, which is about right for this boat. One of the advantages of having three smaller rigs rather than a single large one is that the healing force that is, the tendency of the sail forces to capsize the boat, is much reduced. This is because the centres of effort of the three smaller sails are collectively lower than that of a single larger sail. When sailing downwind, the rigs can be turned outwards to maximise the area they present to the wind. We call this goose swinging of the sails. On any given point of sail, each rig must be trimmed to minimise fluttering and maximise power production. As a result, each sail is set to a slightly different angle compared to the others to obtain the best performance. The forward rig, number one on this diagram, is sheeted out most. Rig number two is sheeted in slightly more, and rig number three is sheeted in most. Clearly, closely spaced rigs interact with each other, and each sail must be trimmed individually according to wind conditions and direction of sail. If multiple sailing rigs are fitted to larger ships, therefore, it will be necessary to optimise the trim of each sail.